Carbon is the basic element of life on Earth. It resides in many places and in every organism, from the depths of the oceans to the land and vegetation and in the atmosphere. It is also found in geological deposits well below the Earth's surface. The amount of carbon estimated to have been contained in the Earth's major carbon reservoirs prior to the year 1800 is reflected here. All figures are scientific estimates and are represented in gigatons, or billions of tons, of carbon. In the years prior to 1800, transfers of carbon, or fluxes, took place naturally between these different reservoirs. While carbon moved back and forth between the reservoirs, the overall, or net, direction of these fluxes annually is indicated by the movement of the gray dots. Their overall net magnitude is indicated by the small black numbers beside them. Industrialization changed the landscape. Extracting and burning fossil fuels to power new modes of production and transportation had a direct impact on the carbon cycle. The amount of carbon emitted by industrial processes is estimated at 6.4 gigatons per year. Over time, this has affected both the balance of carbon in the existing reservoirs and the magnitude of carbon fluxes between those reservoirs. The large red numbers indicate the total changes to the carbon reservoirs since 1800. The red dots and the smaller red numbers beside them indicate the annual impact of industrialization on the carbon fluxes. Notice that the annual impact on the flux between the oceanic and atmospheric reservoirs runs in the opposite direction of the natural flux and at a much greater magnitude. In contrast, the annual impact on the flux between the atmospheric and terrestrial reservoirs amplifies the natural flux. The net effect of the use of fossil fuels on the carbon fluxes is reflected here. The movement of the orange dots indicates the new net direction of the fluxes and their net magnitude is listed beside them. One result of this shift in carbon balance is increased acidity of both the air and ocean water. Many in the scientific community are also concerned about its cumulative effect on global surface temperatures.